my goodness. Oh, so, oh my, oh, my heart. It didn't work. No, I missed it. I think I need a Tylenol. Yeah, I need a Tylenol. Oh, why? Can't blame nothing but myself. That's, I missed it. I just, I just missed it. I just missed it. My brain hurt. Oh! Show no fear, show no fear. Think of me by your side. All is clear, all is clear. Know what we have to do. Show no fear, show no fear. Baby, it'll be alright. I know that it's hard being apart, but soon I'll be there with you. goodness oh I don't know what to say I am so depressed right now I got there within my shooting range if anything went wrong today was the day that went wrong he came to me broadsided right in front of me and this is what I knew I got a rangefinder, but guess what happened to this rangefinder? It wouldn't range for some reason. No matter how much I press, nothing, nothing shows at all. So I was like, you know what? I took a good like 30 seconds or 40 seconds trying to range that deer. No matter what I did, it wouldn't give me a range. So I did what I do best, you know, I guesstimate. What can I do was perfect shot, stood there waiting for me, and I guessed it at 40 yard. So I put my 40 yard pin in, I drew, I breathed, I did everything I did when, when during practice, and I let the arrow fly. Guess what happened? The deer ducked down a little bit, so my, it was ducked down, and then my arrow just barely just passed it, passed right on top of the uh, spine. And he took off running. I said, oh my, oh, my head hurt. Just thinking about, oh my God, I need to get a new range finder. I need a new range finder. <laughs> oh, just thinking about it, my head hurt. Oh. It's like you waited all day for this moment to come and it finally presented itself at you. And the range finder fell on you. It's like at the really beginning, my buck fever kicked in, so I had to breathe. I was like trying to control my breathing, and at the same time trying to range. So the range is kind of shaking a little bit. I was trying to control. I finally got my breathing under control, but oh my god, my range finder! It didn't work. After I shot the deer, the deer took off running. I was like, no! I missed it! You know, I took out the battery out and then put it back in. I rearranged it. And guess what the range was? At 30 yards. A deer presented itself to me and I missed it. You see, you're like, you're like oh, come on. That was like my shooting comfort zone. I think I need a Tylenol. It hurt. My brain hurt. I think I need a guy from Bordeaux who play here. I think I lost my soul. <laughs> it's like when I shoot the arrow, I can see it in slow motion. It's like arrow going, going, the, the deer ducked down, and my arrow just slowly passed it. I was like, no! I was like, oh! Oh. 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 Oh.
30 yard shot. Oh my goodness. Why? He dug just enough to pass too. Unbelievable. Words just can't describe my frustration. Ugh. It just me, I need more practice. I can't rely too much on my rangefinder. I really gotta practice uh, shooting without my rangefinder, at least kind of gauge my yard. I mean, that deer though, it gave me so much opportunity. It was there the whole entire time. I mean, I was stuck in around trying to find a good spot. Finally, I got a good spot, good broadside. I took out my range, tried to range it. I couldn't range. No matter what I pressed, nothing shows. I don't know what it is. I mean, it was there for a good long time for me to shoot. Can't blame nothing but myself. That's all I gotta say. Mother Nature, give me a dare. Give me opportunity to shoot and to harvest some meat for my family and for myself. And you know, I missed it. I just, I just missed it. I just missed it. The deer was a pretty good size. It's a good forky. Big enough for you to see with the naked eye. I did not even need my binocular at all. It also came with a nice little, uh, small little spike too. So, I mean, both of them were there just cruising around like nothing to worry. Oh, my brain hurt. Standing here and just thinking about what could I have done better? What could I have done better? <laughs> oh, you see, like, you see, the, I, like, the opportunity just flashed before my eye. It just literally flashed before my eye right there. And I was like, oh, this is not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> oh my, oh, so mad on myself, David. I'm just so mad on myself. Oh. My guesstimation was all wrong by 10 yards. 10 yards make a big difference. <laughs> you can smell my frustration, right? Definitely subscribe to my channel. I still got some daylight time, so I'll see how it go. Alright, I'm gonna go. Let's see if I can get one more.